What's up everyone and welcome to Tech Craft Studio and today we are upgrading this super cool and really weird PC. So what makes this course so weird and cool is that this is completely 100% fanless and silent. So what is currently in this PC is the Intel i5-7400, there is a NVIDIA GTX 1050, and there's also 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 250 gig SSD NVMe. This is my main PC for running the Plex Media server. And sometimes what I notice is when I'm playing 4K videos, the CPU would not be able to catch up to transcode these videos. So what happens is the videos end up stuttering and sometimes buffering and it just really takes time just waiting for it to buffer and it really hampers the viewing experience. Okay, so we're gonna be going over all of the items that we are going to be putting into this PC. And the first and most important thing is we need to have this Pokeball. I'm just kidding. So the first thing is gonna be this motherboard and we are going with the B450 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. This is an ITX motherboard. And the reason why I chose this motherboard and specifically this motherboard is because of the VRM. This allows clearance for the heat pipes that you will see shortly in the montage to be cleared. And this is the only motherboard that I can see that works with the AMD Ryzen 2700X that we are using for this build. And next up is the power supply. And this is the Seasonic NJ450 SXL. And the most important thing about this power supply is it is 100% fanless. So keeping in spirit of this build, it's going to remain 100% silent and 100% fanless. Next up is the AMD Ryzen 2700X. This is an eight core 16 thread processor. I am upgrading from four cores and four threads. And I think this would be more than enough to transcode the 4K videos. So I bought this processor during a Black Friday sale at Micro Center for a $130 USD. But I think you can find these around if you shop around for Amazon, they can be had for less than $200. And for $200, that is still a great bargain for this processor. And for the RAM, I'm going with 32 gigabytes of the Rip Jaws RAM kit by G-Scale. The reason why I went with 3200 megahertz is because frequency is really important for Ryzen. So I wanted to make sure the RAM kit has the appropriate speeds and I think 3200 megahertz is a sweet spot before going to a more pricier option. And I also went with 32 gigabytes in capacity because I wanted to ensure that my rig is future proof for the next few years. Next up is the 970 EVO. NVMe SSD. This is a 500 gigabyte capacity. This is still an upgrade from my 250 gigabyte SSD. I don't need a lot of capacity because I have a NAS drive. So 500 gigabytes is more than enough for my needs. Next up is the most important thing. And if you don't do this, this build won't work. And that is hitting the like button on this video. I'm just kidding. But if you like what you see today, please support me by hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel. This will ensure that I can continue to do what I am doing today and to bring you more and better content to you in the future. With that said, the main star of the show, and that is this case right here. What I like about this case and what really stood out about this case when I first saw it is it is 100% passive. There is no fan on this case. There is no noise. It is completely silent. If you have this computer on, you won't even know it's on. So how this computer cools itself, it uses these side panels here to diffuse the heat. So in the original package, this case uses one side panel to cool the CPU. Now there is a kit that uses two side panels to cool for a total power draw of 95 watts for the CPU. And there's also a separate kit that you can buy to cool your GPU. 
with this side of the case right here. And that would diffuse 65 watts. So I have both kits for a total of 95 watts for the CPU and 65 watts for the GPU. So my case and this whole build right here is completely fanless. And what I absolutely love about this case is it is dustless. I had this computer on 24 seven for three years straight. And when I opened this top right here, there was barely any dust. So this computer is effectively maintenance free. So that means that you don't have to worry about fans failing. You don't have to worry about leaking if you have an AIO or a, or a water cooled computer. This is a self sustaining 24 seven build. You can have this computer on 24 seven and you don't have to worry about anything mechanical failing. So if you like what you see today and if you like all the components and you want to build this yourself, I will link everything in the description below to my Amazon affiliates link. Okay, with that said, let's move on to the build montage where I will be disassembling this PC and reassembling this PC.